Atlantic Yards belongs to the garbage truck. Yeah. And that's where it's headed, along with the bonds. Guaranteed litigation. One other part of uh, this bond issue is that there's something very strange going on. It is a scheme where a new local development corporation has been created to issue these bonds. They've been created not under the Empire State Development Corporation, but under the Job Development Authority. This project has nothing to do with the Job Development Authority, but by setting it up that way, they have found a loophole, they believe, that's the state and Ratner, to issue these bonds without the Public Authorities Control Board, which is Patterson, Sampson, and Silver, or the controller looking at these, this bond issuance at all and eventually voting on it. They have avoided that with a loophole that doesn't make any sense, and we're asking at the very least. Not even legal. We're asking at the very least for DiNapoli and Cuomo to explain to us why this scheme has been set up this way to avoid any oversight. Uh, just, just last week, the governor, in talking about the public authorities reform bill that he signed, said that for a very long time, the public authorities have added to the enormous debt that uh, have added to the state's enormous debt. For a very long period of time, the public authorities have operated really without any oversight and operated very much in the dark. And they have amassed crippling backdoor financing that has threatened the stability of our economy. Richard Brodsky, one of the sponsors of the bill, said $3 billion in taxpayer-backed debt was issued by 12 anonymous people doing the bidding of the mayor. Here we have six anonymous people doing the bidding of the governor, doing the bidding of the head of the ESTC, doing the bidding of Bruce Ratner to put a bond out on the market that has had no oversight and has been approved in the dark. Junkyard bonds for sale. Crash and junk. A rally against the Atlantic Yards plan bad mouth the bonds will be used to finance the new Nets Arena. What kind of present is this? This is bar humbug. This is junk, junk, junk. I don't care how you dress it up. I don't care how many reviews. It's junk. To all the investors, read the fine print. There's a lot hidden there. This is a bad investment. Junkyard bonds for sale. I want to talk a little bit about why we're here. Uh, I am from Harlem, Coalition to Preserve Community. And on behalf of the businessmen in the area, we are high and elated on the appellate court decision out of the New York State Supreme Court against the seizure of private property for Columbia University. But I'm here to say, and in support of, de of Develop Don't Destroy Brooklyn, that this is a citywide movement. Indeed, it is a statewide and nationwide movement. We have to look at the intricate relationship of all of these mechanisms that are used to curry favor and to bestow favor and profit upon private institutions, private corporations. We cannot have this anymore. This is a citywide movement. All of the forces throughout New York City are coming together to say to Mayor Bloomberg and his cronies, enough is enough. We want our neighborhoods back. We are the city of New York. We, the working people of New York City, we comprise the heart of this city, and this abuse must stop. We're here in support of Develop Don't Destroy Brooklyn, and I should say rhetorically, but seriously, all power to the people. The, all right. Yay. The President of the Damn. United States at this time is meeting with the CEO of Goldman Sachs. And we should say to the CEO of Goldman Sachs, it's time that we stop bailing out the banks and bail out the middle class, bail out workers, and that we invest in essential capital projects and not, and not capital projects that belong to private developers. The reason why the state of New York is dysfunctional is because we're in bed with too many developers and we care nothing, not, we care nothing or little about working class people. What we need is investment in higher education, in schools, in energy, in technology. That's what we need, and we do not need an investment in a 20,000-seat arena, which will only benefit the rich, because most of the residents in Brooklyn will not be in a position to afford to attend these games if they're even interested in attending the games of a team that is a losing team. These bonds are junk, and to investors, you should be very, very wary of these bonds. 
the best investors beware, buyer beware. These represent junk bonds. They are not in the interest of the taxpayers. We will not generate revenues. In fact, the revenues generated will go back to pay these bonds. They will not ignore to the benefit of taxpayers. Taxpayers will be on the hook. Um, the full faith and credit of the state of New York is not backing these bonds, but you can bet that we are morally obligated to these bonds, and that's why it is not in our best interest. The prospectus is inherent with flaws, with faulty analysis. There's a number of reasons why we, again, should take a step back, analyze this process, analyze the, um, all of the analysis or the lack of analysis that has taken place with respect to these bonds. These are junk, junk, junk. Uh, we're, we're calling on Attorney General Cuomo and State Controller Dinopoli, Dinopoli to uh, look not just at the structure of these bonds and the lack of due diligence in vetting these, these bonds, um, but also to take an investigative look at the Empire State Development Corporation for the way that they have acted in bad faith both in the Columbia University eminent domain takings and the Atlantic Yards eminent domain takings and the overall actions of this most powerful state authority that has zero oversight from anyone that anyone has elected. The governor is screaming with his pants on fire every day about the fiscal crisis we're in that the state is about to go insolvent, yet we are diverting taxpayer dollars from New York City to pay a pilot to pay this junk bond. We, uh, the governor is also um, approving the MTA's way below sale uh, way below market value sale of the rail yards, of these rail yards. There's a $200 million budget gap that the MTA announced last week. This, a proper sale, a proper competitive sale of these rail yards would fill all or most of that gap. Um, we are calling on the governor to follow through on his promise that he made publicly just about a week ago, on December 1st, at a public meeting that he would take an object, objective review of the Atlantic Yards project. And we are calling for him not only to do that, but to make it meaningful by stopping his Empire State Development Corporation from taking people's properties and by stopping the Empire State Development Corporation from signing closing documents for the Atlantic Yards project. He controls the ESDC. It is up to him what they do. And if he's going to do any review of the project that's meaningful, he has to stop the project cold from moving forward. Why is the MTA cutting back on services? Why shouldn't they be negotiating with Forest City Ratner to get their fair share for the yards? Why are we engaging in this process at this time? Why are we cutting back? Why are we talking about our deficit, but yet we are engaging, putting the taxpayers at risk, putting the full faith and credit of the state of New York at risk? We are morally obligated to pay these bonds in the case of default. Why are we putting, issuing these bonds at this point in time when our schools are crumbling, when our streets are crumbling, when our bridges are crumbling? Who needs a 20,000 seat arena at a time when people need real jobs to sustain families? The number of jobs are overstated. The fact that this will result in a stimulus to this economy is overstated. Everything in this review is overstated. It's lie after lie after lie, which is why they, uh, low, they rated this these bonds the way that they did. This project should be investigated from beginning to end. This is junk bonds, and I would tell all of the investors, be very, very careful. Let the buyers, let the buyer beware. This is a project that we should not be investing in. In this latest project protest, demonstrators say the bonds are complete garbage. News 12's Heather Abraham explains. Junk bonds for sale. 50 junk bonds here. It was all a bunch of trash talk. Neighborhood groups once again rallying against Atlantic Yards, a project that would bring the New Jersey Nets to Brooklyn. But funding for the Nets' new Barclays Center Arena has protesters name-calling. These are junk, junk, junk. There are serious questions about the ability of the developer to pay back the bond down the road. But here outside the S&P in Manhattan, these neighborhood groups say there's only one place for these bonds. The trash, the bonds worth $500 million, are expected to go on sale this week at Standards & Poor's. And this group was warning investors of what they call a huge risk, even throwing look-alike bonds in the trash. 
They say the developer for City Ratner is optimistic he'll be able to pay back the bonds with a team that doesn't have a chance. We are morally obligated to pay these bonds in the case of default. Councilwoman Letitia James says there's no guarantee that the Barclays Center will actually make money, which could leave the taxpayers paying back on the bonds. The developer for City Ratner is banking on sponsors, luxury box seats, and naming rights to pay back the bonds. But will it be enough? Reporting from Manhattan, Heather Abraham, News 12, Brooklyn. We reached out to Forest City Ratner for comment. They did not want to make a statement. What we're going to do shortly um, is we have our friends here from Woolwich Point who are also fighting the abuse of eminent domain. In this case, uh, which would be, would be done by the city of New York. More bogus blight, more blight by negligence, more intentional blight by government and developers as we've seen in Harlem, as we've seen in Prospect Heights, and as we've seen in Willits Point. Our friends from there, from Crown Container, are here with their garbage truck where we will dump these junk bonds, these junkyard bonds, into the garbage truck, um, where the, which is the proper location for them. We want to thank our friends from Willits Point. We want to thank Nellie Esther Bailey from Harlem, because we, as Nellie said, this fight against all of these projects and all of their abuses and all the bad faith actions taken by the state of New York to push them forward have got to stop. And it's the same fight from here to Queens, to Brooklyn, to Harlem. Atlantic Yard, junk yard bond. Find them here, throw them out here. Raptors bond. Thank you. 